Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to show you guys on how to make a private server using the new game called Cube World Alpha. Anyways guys, Cube World Alpha came out like three days ago and a lot of people have been asking me how do you actually set up a server for Cube World? Well, I'm going to show you guys on how to do that using a program called Hamachi. So we're going to be making a little small private uh, server so up to four friends could join your game and you guys will be able to play Cube World multiplayer. Doesn't that sound a lot of fun? It is a lot of fun. Cube World is the best. It's really fun. So anyways, we're going to be using Hamachi and there is one downside with Hamachi. Um, that is that uh, you everyone needs the program in order to join your server so not only you have to host it with Hamachi but your friends have to have Hamachi installed too so make sure to tell your friends to install Hamachi if you guys are gonna be doing it this way there's two different ways to set up a cube world server there's the Hamachi way and there's a port forwarding way and I'm gonna be making a video on how to port forward which is uh, where you don't need a program and you just give out your IP so it will be a lot more simple and if you guys leave let's say 500 likes and I'll be sure to upload the video right away I'm gonna be making the video right after this video so I could upload you know maybe this uh, the next tutorial very soon anyways with all that said how about we get started uh, messing around with Hamachi and setting up our very own server for Cube World. So what you need is everything in the description. So there's only going to be one link, which is uh, to purchase Cube World. You have to have a legit copy of Cube World. If you don't have Cube World, then probably the demo might work as well. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't tried out the demo. I'm not sure if it's similar or not. Anyways, you need Cube World and you need Hamachi. So this is the Hamachi uh, software installer icon. So once you download Hamachi, this is how the page will actually look. This is the web page for Hamachi. So trust me guys, Hamachi does not have a virus, but it could actually lag your computer depending on how much RAM you have on your computer. It's not recommended to install Hamachi if you have 512 megabytes worth of RAM, but if you have about two gigs RAM or above, then be sure to install Hamachi, it'll work for you. And let's say you don't have enough RAM on your computer, then be sure to tell your friend who does have enough RAM on their computer to host Hamachi. So with that said, how about we download Hamachi, which is the unmanaged version. Do not get the managed. You have to get the unmanaged version of Hamachi. Click in the description. It's the second link. And you click on that. And you have to click this right here, conditions of use. Click that. And then after that, click download. Now, I know that Cube World does not support uh, Mac yet. But when it does, then you could download the Mac version right here. So there's going to be two different versions. This is Windows and this is Mac and I'm not sure about Linux in the future. But yeah, you just click download and after that it's going to be downloading and this is what you're going to be downloading, the software itself. You're going to run this and say yes to everything, agree to its terms and all that stuff and create yourself a desktop shortcut which is Log Me and Hamachi. So right after you installed Hamachi, that you're going to get this desktop right here, this icon. And once you get this, you're going to double click it and here it is. This is the program itself. But once you open up, it's going to say set Hamachi as a home network, a public network or a, uh, a work network. Make sure you set Hamachi as a home network. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, check this out. If you go here to start after you install Hamachi, so make sure you install Hamachi first. And once you install it, go here to start, go here to control panels. Go here to network and internet, go here to network and sharing center. So click there and you'll see right here, here's Hamachi. You have to make sure it's a home network. If it says public network or work network, then make sure to change it. How to change it is you click here to home network and you change it. You uh, have to make sure it's a home network, make sure it's not work or public. So click home, click finish and there you go. So once Hamachi is set to a home network, then Hamachi should be able to work for you. So anyways, with that said, it's going to tell you like uh, what's the name of your Hamachi. Just set it to whatever it says with PC. So if it says like Ryan uh, PC, then just set that. It doesn't really matter. And once you have it working, then turn it on. So it's going to say offline, then you just turn it on. And then after that, it's going to tell you to create like an existing network or uh, join an existing network or whatever. So what you're going to do is create a new network after it's done uh, probing and logging into Hamachi. So once it's already set, you go here to network or it will tell you two buttons. It'll say uh, create a network or join an existing network. For your friends, they have to join an existing network and you have to create yourself a new network. In order for you to create yourself a new network, you go here to network, create a new network and the network ID, you could call it whatever you want. This is the ID that your friends have to know. You have to share your network ID to your friends and your password. So for me, I'm going to call it SCM owns cube 11. So this is my network name, and uh, if you're going to share it with your friends, you have to make sure you give them the caps. Uh, if you don't give them the caps, then they're not going to be able to join. So everything is cap sensitive. And the password itself, mine's going to be 12345, and the confirmed password is going to be 12345. All right, so make sure you have everything set correct and click Create. Right after you're done like creating the network, it's going to say 1 out of 5. So you could have up to 5 people per network, and uh, yeah. 
So anyways, here's my network, and if any of your friends happen to add your network, they're going to show up underneath the network tab. And what you could do is right click your friend and you could access like chat so you could talk to each other like that. Or you could just chat in cube world, it doesn't matter. But anyways, with that said, you just created yourself your very first network. That is it. This is probably the hardest part, which is creating Hamachi and, you know, making it work and all that stuff. So this is it. All you have to do is just like how we did it for the Minecraft private server tutorial. All you have to do is just create yourself a new network. Tell your friends to join a network. What they have to do is go here to network and join an existing network. They're going to put in the ID and mine is SCMONS cube. 11 so that's the ID and the password is one two three four five that is it so you just share your information tell them to install Hamachi and that is it so right after they're done with Hamachi uh, let's go ahead and start our server this is it your IP for your new server is right here this is it the first number is right here so you could just click right here where the numbers are at so just uh, left click I mean so just click right there it's gonna say copy IP v4 address this is your new IP so go over that copy and let me just open up a notepad for you guys and just paste that right in so you guys could see my IP. There it is. So it's 25, 27, all that stuff. This is the IP how much it gives you. This is the IP your friends have to need in order to connect after they join your network. So with that said, how about we go and launch the server for Cube World? Remember that you have to have a server just like how Minecraft has a Minecraft server uh, dot jar and stuff like that. Cube World is kind of the same. So what you have to do is locate the Cube World server after you installed cube world and you have you know verified that you're a legit user and stuff like that then you have to go here to start you go here to computer because we're gonna go and locate the cube world server so start computer you're gonna open up your local C alright so your C drive open that up now you're gonna go here to program files x86 that that's where it should be but if it's not there then it's probably in the program files but for me it's in the x86 so open that up and you're gonna locate cube world which is right here so open up cube world and now here it is right there. Do you guys see it? It says server right there. So what I would recommend for you to do is you could create a shortcut to this maybe to the server. So you could create a shortcut. What I did was I created a shortcut. Where is it at? I believe I have it somewhere on here. I created a shortcut to this cube world folder and I forgot where I placed it around my desktop. Oh, here it is. So as you guys can see, I created a shortcut for this cube world folder. So whenever I want to like come back to it, I just double click it and here it is. Anyways, what you're going to do now is you have to double click this server, uh, the application itself. And once you run the server, you're going to get a server config. And with the server config, if you right click and open with Notepad++ or, you know, any editing software that could read uh, WordPad and stuff. This is your cube world seed. All right. So when you create your cube world level, this is the seed of your level. So if you want to change it, you could edit this and start the server over again. So it could have a new seed. So this is everything that the cube world config will have. There isn't really any, any like properties where you could have a whitelist. You can't kick players. You can't ban players on a server. That's all going to be developed very soon because the game's barely in alpha, probably in beta. You're going to be able to have more options where you can have like, you know how Minecraft has all these properties. You could probably do the same thing very soon in the next updates of Cube World and stuff. So yeah, anyways, probably in the future I'm going to go over a new tutorial because it's going to be quite different, I'm pretty sure, in the future. But with that said, once I have Hamachi opened and running, let's go ahead and start the server. You just double click the server and there you go. It's going to say starting server and in order to stop your server, you press Q. Alright, so you press Q, lowercase, press enter and there you go, it stops the server. But let's go ahead and run the server again and that's it. That's all your commands you get. So anyways, now the server's up, now we have ourselves Hamachi, and here's our IP. When we copy our IPv4 address, this is it. So if I would happen to run Cube World, and once I log in with a verified user, let's go ahead and log in, press play, I'm going to be able to connect to my server, which is right here. Let me go ahead and open that up and move it to the second screen. So anyways, if I go to start game, click on my uh, character, which is SCM owned, you go here to connect to a server, you're going to be able to place down the Hamachi server address right here, minus 25.27. And there we go. And click connect and you should be able to connect to your server. Another thing is if you can't connect to your uh, server, then make sure you have the server running and Hamachi running. All right. So remember that little thing that I said to press Q, that's just to stop the server, but you have to make sure it's open. So this is the server itself that is running. See, and once I connect, it's going to say player zero join. So there we have it. I joined my server. Here's uh, how much it's logged in. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Tell your friends to join your network. Go here to network, join existing network, join your network, give them the IP, which is this IPv4 address. And that's it. 
that is basically on how to start your very own cube world server and mine seems to crash because you know it's still in development build of cube world see so yeah, i'm probably just logging into the server that's probably why i crashed because i'm just switching screens over and over but with that said it's, you should be able to join your uh, cube world server and if this tutorial helped you out a lot then be sure to leave a rating and not sure why cube world doesn't want to work anymore oh there we go i'm in my server so yeah guys, hopefully you guys will enjoy this tutorial, Cube World is a lot of fun, so if you guys enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a rating, and let me know what you guys want to see next. If it was confusing, if you don't understand how to do this, then be sure to uh, post a topic on my help forums and stuff like that. Let me just climb this up, oh, never mind. Anyways, uh, post a topic on my help forums, tweet me if anything, so uh, if you have little issues and stuff that you think I could fix, then be sure to tweet me, and I'll be sure to reply with a tweet and see what's going on. But anyways, guys, hopefully the tutorial will help you out. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys later.